the show really to um, showcase the latest available products in headphone technology, to encourage people to uh, listen to the different types of headphone, to try out Bluetooth for example, which we've got the largest range available from any manufacturer with the inline smart remote and mic to allow Apple users to really get the most from their products. We want to demonstrate that it's as good as a pair of cables, uh, headphones, and I think it's really just a part chance to kind of see, hear and listen all about uh, headphones really and about what Sennheiser can offer as a specialist um, audio brand. refresh to a range that's about two years old now, okay. uh, was that we wanted a, a, a low entry price point product for retail. So these space buds just retail for $9.99, very simple um, low cost earphone. And then we moved on to um, our second one, Razer 2s are more of a sports sort of a orientated earphone, uh, much lower profile, uh, got two tone uh, ribbon on them, so it's like a flat ribbon. Yeah, uh, I like the yellow and black. That's theme, right, that, and we yeah. also do them in red and black as well. And this time round, we've introduced a new new product called Sonic. This is an uh, on-ear earphones. But, um, range, right? Yeah, they're $39.99 is the retail price for these. Um, they're smart, comfy headphones, um, ideal for listening to music at home. Right, brilliant, great stuff. Okay. Thank All right, thanks very much. Thank you. My name is Megan Bramley and I'm an account manager for Incipio Technologies. CX Coast has been a great outfit, outlet for us today. Uh, we're meeting a lot of great customers, it's good to have FaceTime and um, in fact we have a lot of new product launching, it's been great for us. We have some new lineups with our MacBook sleeves, headphones, stylus pens, um, all getting a great response. CU Exposed has been a great impression for us today. We've had some good um, personal meetings and uh, we've made a lot of great customers and having FaceTime has been a really good output for us. I would definitely recommend CU Exposed. Station 32 Mini. These are available now. Okay. I see you have them, um, and they're fab. <laughs> Let's just buy the track together. Let's put yeah. Okay. Nice. Let's um. So we go up into Garage Band again and add another instrument. Let's add a drum part. So I can, I could, if I wanted to, play the drums from the, um, the iPad itself. Yeah. But you, you get what's called latency, a certain amount of delay. Whereas if I play it actually on the keyboard itself. Yeah. Wow, yeah, it's, it's, it's really smooth. So yeah. right back to the beginning. Music. It works plug and play, so literally no drivers, it's bus powered, so hook it straight up into the, the USB port of your Mac yeah. or PC, and away you go. The cool stuff thing is, if you learn Pro Tools at this level, mm -hmm. it's the same, it's the same all the way through. Brilliant, so you know you have any talent as well, you can come in and just have a play around with it, and yeah, you can... Uh, it kind of helps, kind of helps, <laughs> but um, you can tweak it you a little You made it look really easy. <laughs> cool, and uh, it's available now. It's available now. Okay, brilliant. Uh, my name is Kristen and I work for a company called Hengedocs. We make docking stations for Apple's notebook computers. Our docking stations are a great way to turn your laptop into a desktop or you can set it up to do a home theater kind of setup, anything like that. Our docks are great because they're vertical so it saves space on your desk. Also, you have all the cables that you need inside the dock so each time you drop it in it makes all the connections for you instantly. Just pull straight up. You can see Inside the docking station here, you've got all the cables set up. Um, so like I said, it makes all the connections for you instantly. Uh, you can customize it, put in whatever cables that you want. So you can use the same peripherals that you normally use on your MacBook with the docking station. All of our cables come with female ends, so you can still plug in all your same USB, audio, um, anything um, into our docking station. And it's really simple to use. All you need is an external monitor or a screen or television and then you just need something to wake it up. So we have a Bluetooth trackpad and keyboard here, but any compatible uh, external device will work. So you can use any brand, generic mouse, anything like that. It's, that's it, it's very simple. Drop it in, wake it up, and 
You got yourself a brand new computer. If we can actually see, Drawn has got two cameras, a front-facing and a downward-facing camera. Okay. If we want to try and take it off, all we do is we press the take-off button on the screen, and Drawn should come up to about three feet and sit there wow. and wait for a hold. Now, if I don't do anything for the next 10 15 minutes until the battery runs down, it'll stay where so it's it got, is. It's got 15 minute battery life as well. About a 15 minute battery Brilliant. life, yeah. We get two virtual joysticks on here. If we press our thumb on the left hand one, lean it to the left, it'll go left. Lean it right, goes right. That's exactly how it'd look like for flying outdoors. The other joystick will take us up or down and actually get drawn to spin around and around. Wow. Yeah, and what sort of price are we going to be paying for this now? Uh, it's $279.99 for Christmas this year. Okay. Brilliant. So, awesome. and a lot, a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Um, we've got some great special offers on at the moment where we're going to be giving a spare battery for Christmas theory. Do you want to have you land it then? Is it just one touch of a button? So? Yeah, by la press the land, take fingers off, press the yeah. landing button and it'll just bring itself to its safe land. Wow, brilliant! My name's David Ojuro, I'm the Channel Development Manager for UK and Ireland for Professional Products. I work for Wacom. This is um, what we call this a Cintiq 24 HD. So it's an interactive pen display. We can actually draw, we can sketch, we can navigate. The pens are, are pressure sensitive. This being our biggest monitor that we've done to date. This can actually be brought down. This can be brought down to about 10 degrees quite easily. If I hold down my pen and scroll, it turns into my hand tool. So I can actually get this to drift where I want to, anywhere on the canvas then I can start working with it as well. Why bring this to the show? Um, uh, if we look at the, the resellers who are here, um, a lot of them are in the APR channel. So uh, they sell Apple Kit, and they usually sell their Apple Kit to graphic designers, uh, video guys, sound guys, and we fall into that creative arena. For us to bring this product where they can actually see it, they can feel it, they can touch it, they can see it in action, because this is the only one that we've got uh, in terms of dem demonstration models in the country. So for them to actually get their hands on one, instead of seeing it on a, a YouTube video or hearsay, uh, they can speak to us directly about it and we can ask all their questions about it. So it's pretty good. It's a good event to see you exposed. Stand as well, is that right? Yeah, so obviously you can sit here. Yeah. And it's both ways. Yeah, portrait and landscape. Vertically and horizontally. This is the 3GS version. Right. Oh, so it's 3GS and iPhone 4 as well. Yeah, 3GS version. Right. Yep. This is the sound with now. This is width. Indeed. That's yeah, I mean, the mic doesn't do much justice, but it is a lot clearer and a lot louder. It is. Now, this right here, right, the USBs. people are probably wondering what this is. Right, our, U our USBs. Yeah, this comes in 4 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes. Oh, right, so they're, they're big USBs. So still, okay. still quite large. Plenty of space. So after a while, you might think, oh, I'm quite bored of this cover now. I want a new USB drive. Well, right. not a problem. Simply open up. Take out the USB drive, you can oh, right, okay. change it into another U USB and you have yourself no ninja. a new, yeah, awesome. new USB. Well, and excellent. one of the good things about this USB is we offer a lifetime warranty for our USB drives. Okay, yeah. thanks very much, man. Thank you. Thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Because all of your pictures, all of your movies, all of your music, right. all on this um, product, you've got a one terabyte hard drive inside, and uh, you're able to go and view it all with a really nice uh, user experience. You can yeah. do some really cool things as well. You've got other devices like an uh, iPhone or an iPad. Yeah. I can um, be videoing this interview right now, yeah. and then I could send it back home to my WDTV Live box underneath my television, yeah. and my family would be able to watch it, access the file, and watch the interview at home on their TV, wow. whatever photo or video I take from uh, from my iPhone. Amazing, that's brilliant. It's all the best bits of smart TV. It's like, a smart, it's, it's like having mind. smart TV, but without having to go out and throw your TV in the bin and spend another 800, <laughs> 900 pounds. I can uh, buy one of these boxes for 199 and I've got all of my uh, applications there. Hello. Hello. Travelling. 
little talk about co op, shall we? Yes, here we go. It's all about having one tool for digital publishing so you can create all your design for print, web, and uh, create apps for the iPad. And once you've bought the software, is there any Apple pay? Is it to pay Apple anything to upload or is it all included? So you've got four big steps. So you need the, the, the software, of course. Yeah. And then um, you need to set up all the, um, all the, um, the app within like um, a portal, a publishing portal. Okay, so it's like, like uh, on Works or something, the template's there, you just drag and drop the words and the pictures in and it does it for you. Exactly, okay. so you just choose your template and then when your content is ready, when your template is ready, you just submit everything to Apple and then that'll be available on the Apple Store. With the publishing, including is about £350 for one single app yep. available on the Apple Store for one year. That's available now, is it? That's available now. To create the app, you don't need to know any coding. Really? Okay. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. My first experience of seeing you exposed, and I've had a thoroughly good time. I've been to quite a few uh, expos uh, while working at stuff. This is really personal, uh, it, it gives you a lot of opportunity to have hands on time with people, which you don't often have. You often bolt about with people everywhere, but here you can stop, relax, have a chat to people, and, and you can tell genuinely people when you talk to them have time to talk to you. And you can learn about the products in depth rather than just getting a brief overview as you do at many shows. Syntex 24 HD, the uh, penning screen. It's very impressive because it works exactly like a piece of paper. So for designers, for artists, it's ideal. Um, I know they used it in films like Titanic, in Avatar. Um, and this is their first 24 inch version, so you can actually use it as a, as a TV screen or fold it down and use it as a tablet as well. It was very versatile and that's something I'd be tempted to buy. It was, it was two grand, which for a professional device wasn't too bad at all. But yeah, I definitely recommend CU Exposed. Um, it gives you the opportunity to get hands on with devices, talk to manufacturers, and see a wide selection of things you wouldn't otherwise get your hands on. Plus, they've got free food. That was the joke.